Hi guys, today I'm going to be talking about the Business Achievement Awards program in FBLA. Specifically, I'll be doing a rundown the easiest way to finish the first level, which is the future level. So what are the BAs? The BAs are basically achievement program for FBLA, right? So if any of you are in Boy Scouts or Girl Scouts or something similar like that, um, basically those organizations have rank structures. And to complete these ranks, you have to complete requirements um, activities which are based on, you know, imparting a certain set of skills or teaching the members about that given organization. So, uh, much like in those organizations, FBLA has a similar system, which is the uh, Business Achievement Awards. So there are four main ranks or awards in the BA system, and those are Future Business Leader in America, which correspond to one of the awards one each of the words in the FBLA acronym which stands for Future Business Leaders of America. Now, you need to complete the requirements to get the awards. If you can click right here um, at this link, you can see the awards, or the requirements rather, for each of these awards, Future Business Leader in America. So for Future, um, and for all the section, all the um, awards, there are three main sections. First is service, then is education, then you have progress. So depending on the award, you have a different number of uh, requirements you have to complete from this list. Some of these will be mandatory, so you don't, you can't choose. In order to earn the award, you have to complete these requirements, but then you have discretion as to which of these you have to complete to satisfy the final requirement and get you to three in this section for example some sections might not have any mandatory requirements like in progress for the future award right here so in that case you can just choose any four um, to satisfy that section okay so who cares um, FB so basically if you um, want to run for any kind of officer position, this is basically mandatory. Um, uh, in some cases, it's like by rule. So many states require that to run for state or regional positions. Um, some local chapters do as well. But even in either case, whether it's mandatory or not, it definitely gives you a big edge up. You know, um, positions are getting more and more competitive as we have more and more members who are amassing ever increasing amounts of qualifications so the BAA is something that's relatively within your control and not you know super like competitive or uh, dependent on other people much like some of the other things in FBLA like competitive events or resume or essay writing all of those things which are based on outside factors um, so it's very important to try and max out the BAAs, finish all the levels, to be as competitive as possible. It's also a prestigious program in that only 500 students out of 250,000 in FBLA finish program every year. You do not have to finish it within one year. You have all four years of high school to finish the program. Um, but only 500 finish every year, so it looks very good for colleges or outside opportunities, so it's not like an only useful for FBLA. So if you're applying for a position in another organization or if you're applying for college, it'll look very, very good if you can like you know, briefly explain what it is and how rare it is to win this or earn this award. But then it's also a limited time offer in the sense that FBLA recently made the requirements far, far easier because of COVID and like what many of the um, old requirements required you to recruit like five to ten members um, for the America level. Um, so that was very, very difficult for a lot of people. You know, I struggled with that even before COVID. And then um, obviously COVID hit and so a lot of these small chapters lost members, couldn't really recruit members. You know, obviously COVID was everywhere, so people were very reluctant to you know, join a club during, you know, time of economic and physical distress. That wasn't really, you know, at the top of their mind. So what ended up happening was, like, recruitment just collapsed utterly, and lots of students in these smaller 
um, chapters who would have otherwise completed these requirements um, weren't able to do so. So because of that, FBLA revamped the requirements. So now a lot of these requirements are much easier and a lot of them are duplicates of each other. So I'm going to tell you um, in my rundown, which I'm about to do, how to uh, exploit those duplicates and loopholes and um, uh, to basically try and finish this as easy as possible and, a and as easy a way as possible. And this is really important because it's quite likely that after COVID goes away that FPLA will reinstate the old requirements because it will be much easier to recruit members do all the things that they used to expect you to do. Okay, so first things first, honesty. Um, so again, you can see these quotes right here from the FBLA PBL Code of Ethics, line 7, which states that I will act in a man manner that will bring this back to me into my school. You can see what the FBLA pledge says, I shall strive to develop quality necessary in becoming a responsible business leader. So why is this important? Um, this is important because you don't want to copy off of someone else's work. So all I'm about to show you are examples, um, sample uh, things that have been submitted before successfully, but it's not okay to just copy these things or to try and cheat the system. That's not what the point of this is. Sure, you can try and you know, do things the easiest way by like, choosing the easiest requirements, but you need to like if you're asked to write a report or an essay or like learn you know something for quiz or a crossword puzzle, you're expected to actually learn those things because at some point in the future you will be tested on those things if you want to run for an officer position or you know you're asked about it for an officer interview or something like that and if your advisor sees it's obvious that you've been cheated then that's going to really hurt you when you try and run for those things or you know, just in general um, your reputation with other people so you don't want that. Um, as you can see right here, it says, it's an outstanding, outstanding essay, the author gets an A, you get an F, so this is not, you do not want your advisor to be saying something like this to you. Alright, so let's do our rundown. Let's start with the future service level, f service category rather. Um, requirements 1 and 2 are mandatory, so donating 5 hours of service. Um, you can do this at a food bank or um, if you have a beta club and you're a member of that, or a national honor society or something like that, or if your chapter is sponsoring uh, community service, you can do that. Um, you don't have to do that necessarily through your FBLA chapter. It can be with other organizations, and if you've done it any time, really, up until um, from the start of your high school onwards, then that can count towards this requirement. Then prepare a social media graphic poster promoting FBLA. Not that hard. I mean, use something like Canva. So let's go to Canva. Um, you can just make an account. See, so sign up and then um, use Google to create an account on Canva. And then you can make a very simple flyer um, that'll meet your requirements for that. Okay, and then. Uh, for your elective other requirement, um, you may notice that requirement number 10 overlaps with requirement number 1 in that, you know, um, if you donate fire hours community service, by definition, you are attending a community service event in your community. So you've knocked out two birds with one stone, and you have to upload short, you know, 100 word summary. Um, this is my example. Um, basically just describe your duties, um, what you did for your service. Okay, then on to education. So the first thing is a knowledge quiz is mandatory. Um, I've posted like a study guide for that quiz. Um, it's not very really complicated. You're allowed unlimited attempts. So really, um, you know, you can just basically spam it. Just click random answers until you get it, but do try and remember the answers because you might have to do like a statesman test or um, you know some kind of test if you run for a higher position later on and that kind of background knowledge can help you. I know um, 
some of the state conferences and national conferences have been giving out prizes for um, you know FBLA trivia knowledge a lot of it is covered in like these kinds of BAA quizzes so if you know this information then you could win you know small amounts of money you could um, like you know get on the radar if you're state advisor um, which would help you when you run or apply for some kind of position so like don't just like treat this like it's just something you have to get out of the way like try and like put a little bit of effort into it so that you're ready for whatever challenges you face okay so then on to creating an online leadership profile on tallow tallow is basically like an online resume kind of like linkedin except it's not as prominent um so the, i just put like a pdf link to pdf describing how to um, set up your tallow profile for this requirement all right and then I, I i think for number um for education yes so i think 16 is probably the easiest of these um you know if, if you have business classes at your school um then i guess you could this is probably uh, activity 18 is probably easier but um if you don't have that, then I think this is probably the best, um, easiest requirement to do. Uh, basically, basically, write a short paper on um, business career. I think the reason I picked this over some of the other ones, like for example, create a spreadsheet or list five goals. The reason I really uh, chose this one was because of the BLS website. So, for example, if you um, you can Google any career and then say. Uh, add-on BLS and that will get you a whole bunch of data on the BLS website. So for example, let's say market research and a list BLS. Right. So then I click on this and I have all this information right here. Like this one page could be enough to write, you know, a nice five paragraph essay on market research analysts. And that, in fact, that's actually what I did. I wrote this for, um, you know, seventh grade marketing class. So I just dug that up and then submitted that as um, uh, to meet this requirement. So it's a nice, it's a good thing to do to like just dig through some of the old papers, old documents. Like if you have like a Google Drive, just like old documents or some drive at school, then like um, just dig through that. Usually there'll be something that can be useful um, to. The BA is almost always you'll find something that will help you out. So, yeah. All right, finally, on to progress. For progress, there are no mandatory um, requirements. You are given uh, discretion to choose four of these. So, what I would do is I would go for number 20, attend three chapter meetings, and prepare a one page paper. Um, pretty self explanatory. Uh, basically all you have to do is attend the meeting and then um, put some bullet points and you have to remember to take a photo of yourself at that meeting so if you're you know on a zoom call or whatever just take a picture of the zoom call going on um, if you're in person remember to take a picture um, you only I think you only need one picture you don't need all three I'm not perfectly sure on that your advisor might require all three so just make sure when you go to the portal um, you are submitting as per what the portal asks you to submit and based on what your advisor wants you to submit okay then complete the program worksheet um, this one always like changes for some reason like um, when I did it it was like an actual worksheet I think it's become a bingo game now or something like that I've heard um, so it's basically like a study guide list of the questions and their answers again like don't just try and like spam um like don't just try and you know like use this to cheat the whole point of it is to learn and like uh, memorize these things because again if you apply for some kind of state position or um you know you're in an interview for an FBLA position then might ask you one of these questions 
And if you don't know, it'll um, look really bad. Look like you don't really know. Um, it'll look like you didn't really take your FBLA BAs very seriously, and you don't really know what's going on. So that's not a good look. So just use this as a study guide and not to break the system. All right, and then. Um, requirement 23, as you know, will overlap with requirement 20. That's why I picked those two. Um, really, if you've been able to complete requirement 20 by attending the chapter meeting, probably you'll have enough information to be able to um, use that for requirement 23. Again, photo is required, but again, you've already taken a photo for requirement 20, so it's basically knocking out two words with one stone. All right, finally, research through events offered through the National Awards Program, which is just the competitive events. And all you really have to do is choose two events and then identify two references that will help you prepare. So um, I think they want you to put in like a table. So you could just say, I just put one um, resource you can add on one more. Um, so for example, I did political science and I put crash course videos. Um, another one would be like Princeton Review, AP Gov, US Politics. Um, uh, you know, prep book, something like that. And then for financial math, um, you could put down like some kind of, of like textbook or something like that um, as another source. So, um, like, really, you need to um, make sure, like, try and, like, do it for your event, not just for these. Um, because obviously, you want to know, like, how to prepare um, for your events. I think a good source, um, I know, like, there's a good article on, like, Test Frenzy. It's kind of old from, like, 2009, but it's about, um, about like how to find like good textbooks to help you prepare so it's a good resource to check out. Alright so in this video we've learned about how to complete the future award in a very easy yet in a way that helps you learn and you've also learned about the purpose of the BAAs and why they're so important.